Hello and welcome back. I'm Randy Newbert from Voodoo Effects. In today's video, we'll be highlighting some of our older lighting kits. So let's get started. This is the Sea View, the most extraordinary submarine in all the seven seas. Its public image is that of an instrument of marine research. In actuality, it is the mightiest weapon afloat and is secretly assigned to the most dangerous missions against the enemies of mankind. Okay, so this was kind of a no-brainer. This is the large-scale 39-inch sea view from Mobius Models. This is kit number 707. Some beautiful uh, box artwork from Chris White here in this image. So we decided to do the lighting. We went with a 24-port driver, which was more than sufficient enough to uh, run all the lighting in this large-scale model. Um, when we got through this, we had to do some porting into the model itself in order to make room for both the uh, sail and the tail fin and interior lighting and some of the lower lighting that was done in this model. Uh, here you can see we've done the drill outs for the actual sail section and this is where we sent up the lighting to do both the navigation lighting and uh, on lighting. Um, within the sail itself. And here you can see where we also did a large cutout for the, uh, to work the wiring in and out where these are the missile bay hatch area. Uh, this allowed some good access in for the wiring. And again, here you can see where we were, got this prepared and getting ready to glue this down for the main sail area. Uh, we prefab most of the sail before we actually did the assembly work onto it. And here you can see we went ahead and the sail's mounted and we've tested all the lighting in the sail. And uh, it made it easier for us to uh, do the wiring outside the model and then able to slip everything in. You could fit a 9 battery in there as well. Here we have the uh, tail section of the tail fin areas. Uh, these were uh, needed to be very uh, channeled out and hogged out. For the wire to fit through there just because the room was so tight um, uh, but this is where we did it and then here you can see both of the actual uh, wires that come through the areas of the channel there and with the uh, actual back plate on here's the finished LED we didn't do anything special here we didn't uh, we just used that as the finished piece in place and uh, that uh, it worked out great. Uh, we used a softer uh, resistor for that LED to give it a more of a scaled look. And here's the tail fins with both LEDs mounted. And again, we used a lower resistor value to create a, uh, a dimmer lighting feature in those warm white LEDs. So this kit also comes with a full blown interior. We needed to use this as a, this control room and observation deck uh, diagram here gave us a kind of a good way to lay out some of the lighting for it and uh, here you can see we these are the lower uh, stubs for the tubes for the uh, manta wing uh, these uh, actually uh, allowed us to raise the LED up higher so we just have a straight shot down the uh, tube and there here you can see it finished and uh, with the nose light in place I'm doing some of the interior testing on some of the lighting for them. We also had to create a scratch build a roof piece uh, that didn't come with the model. We just had to make one on our own. Here's the nose light in place. Uh, you can see that we used a little piece of shrink tubing over the top of the LED and then just let the light protrude out the sides. We had a little piece of gaffing tape in order to control any light block in there and uh, there it is mounted in place. Here we have the uh, flying sub bay 
and we did one singular drill out here with a white diffused light to light up the entire bay we we figured out that we could only one light was enough to actually do all the lighting in here so we were very happy with how that turned out here again is the scratch built top that we made for it and uh, uh, there's some drill outs here for the lighting and where the lighting went through the roof and came down inside the actual interior itself So next off, here's the finished interior completed. And in here, uh, we use some, again, some gaffing tape in order to control the light block and to make everything uh, so it would really stay in place and uh, not allow any trap light to come in and out. We, we settled that piece all the way in on our own. Here's some finished shots of the model. Again, uh, this is an exciting build uh, for its time. Uh, we, we produced this model lighting package in 2008, and then uh, it, it ended up kind of coming out in 2008, 2009. I think that's about the right time period. And uh, again, with the full blown interior, this is just an amazing model kit. Uh, it's very large scale. This is almost a 39 inch model. And uh, again, it comes with a little mini flying sub. Uh, and it's a very accurate rendering of the uh, sea view. So anyway, uh, this should shortly end the video here. And again, please subscribe and look for us on our next uh, videos of our releases.